It's the Willie Mildew Show, starring Willie Mildew. And I'm your announcer and Willie's sidekick, Electric Eric. And tonight we feature our special guest from the Bobby Black Blues Band, Bobby Black. And now, here's Willie! Hey, hey there! All right, thank you, Electric Eric, for that superb introduction. And many thanks to our band leader, Altissimo. That's right. And our part time chainsaw operator and piano player, Frankie Five Fingers. <laughs> Mozzarella. Hey, this is season one, episode one of the Willie Mildew Talk Show, and I'm Willie Mildew. All right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Electric Eric. You know, he ain't the brightest bulb in the chandelier, <laughs> but he laughs at my jokes. <laughs> I found a way to keep him busy. I just invite him downtown for lunch to the corner of walk and don't walk. (laughs) That keeps him busy for about two hours looking for the right street. Yeah. You know, now this is between you and me. Between you and me now. He told me a computer done beat him at chess. Yeah. And uh, later on, though, he told me that the computer was no match for him at kickboxing. <laughs> he needed a password eight characters long, so he chose Snow White <laughs> and the Seven Dwarves. Hey, all you left-handed people out there, tired of not being able to find certain products for left-handed people? Are you a left-handed golfer? Are you a left-handed guitar player? Well, fret no more, because your place will be Lefties R Us in the mall. At Lefties R Us in the mall, you can find left-handed monkey wrenches, left-handed dinnerware, left-handed pots, left-handed pans, and even left-handed champagne glasses. And if you're looking for left-handed ballpoint pens, and left-handed flat-screen TVs, and even left-handed remote controls for your flat-screen TV, you'll find them at Lefties R Us in the mall. And are you looking for left-handed sweaters or overcoats, left-handed toilet seats, left-handed computer keyboards, lawnmowers, handkerchiefs, left-handed neckties, and left-handed jogging shoes? We remind you to look no further than Lefties R Us in the mall. And with a new shipment of left-handed athletic socks, left-handed paper bags, left-handed coffee mugs, left-handed recliners, left-handed road maps, left-handed napkins, place maps, and left-handed fingernail clippers, you're set. So next time you're out on the town looking around for something left-handed, check out Lefties R Us in the mall. We have it all. Yeah. Now, we're going to be getting in contact with Bobby Black of the Bobby Black Blues Band in just a minute. But first, I got to say something here about Electric Eric, our announcer, (laughs) and my sidekick. They had this contest, and you send in a six-second jingle of music. He did one on trumpet, one on guitar, and one yeah, cash prize. I'm going to have to hit him up with some do-re-mi here. Anyway, his music now represents the whole city through the Mobile Arts Council. And uh, we're going to roll those real quick. And then after we roll those, we're going to get on to our guest, Bobby Black of the Bobby Black Blues Band. All right, now, 
I got to make a note with my left-handed ballpoint <laughs> pen to see if I can get Electric Eric to teach me how to play the guitar and the trumpet like that. Pretty nice. I don't know how he gets that clappity-clap sound on the guitar, though. <laughs> anyway, we're about ready to bring on Bobby Black Woo! from the Bobby Black Woo! Blues Band. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> what? What? Season one, episode one, and our first guest is in the FBI <laughs> Witness Protection Program. <laughs> Electric Eric. Electric Eric. I'm here, Willie. Where is Bobby Black? He's here. He's but, just incognito. All right. How can he be here? And incognito at the same time. No, Willie. Cognito ain't no place. Incognito is a word. Uh, He's here. Right. We got uh, him on speaker. Well, you phone. best get a bus yeah. and get over there to Cognito and bring him back. I mean, now. Will do, will do. Uh, listen, you ain't got this job so sold up. To be so casual. But but you called me a miracle worker. Yeah. Well, I did call you a miracle worker. That's because it's a miracle if you work. <laughs> All right. We're going to talk to Bobby Black of the Bobby Black Blues Band from an undisclosed location since he's in the Witness Protection Program for ratting out a bunch of bagpipe players <laughs> for not paying taxes. That's what they get. Anyway, gonna tell you a little bit about Bobby's colorful career. Then, we're gonna get to hear the band play. So I'm really looking forward to this. Yes, I am. All right now. The Bobby Black Blues Band been around for years and years. In fact, they were going to play on a Cat Stevens concert. But uh, when they got backstage of the Cat Stevens concert, they noticed a big litter box. So they took off. They won't do that one. And, uh, oh, they turned down Three Dog Night, too. Not knowing what would be backstage there. They did, however, play for a mechanic's sock hop in Tupelo, Mississippi. And that mechanic sock hop was where they played their grease medley. That was it. They also were the house band for one night at the Crab Dangle Bar and Grill in Scratch Ankle, Alabama. Now, they almost did get a bar mitzvah, but the drummer, Johnny Paradiddle Watson, caught the jumping pellegra and was hospitalized for two weeks. So without further ado, let's talk to Bobby Black of the Bobby Black Blues Band and see what kind of colorful career he's had. Bobby? Oh, Bobby. <laughs> All right now, Bobby Black. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you've led a very colorful career in blues and a uh, I think I remember something about uh, you're from Greensboro, South Carolina. That's right. And you live on White Street in an orange house with purple shutters next door to Mr. Gray. Yeah, that's right. Now, he owns a restaurant in town called the Brown Derby. And he and his wife, Red, and their little dog, Blue, are friends of yours. And according to you, their little dog, Blue, got stung yesterday by a yellow jacket. That's right. <laughs> Also, you got a wife named Violet of the Violet Black Blues Band. She has a show tonight in Reddington, Pennsylvania at Whitehall Stadium to raise money for the Green Berets. That's right. They're going to open the concert with these songs, uh, their version of Yellow Dog Blues. 
Then they're going to play Green Green Grass at Home, Red Sails in the Sunset, <laughs> Blue Velvet. That's right. Then Sweet Georgia Brown. And finish with Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair. Does that sound about right, Bobby? That's right. Without further ado, let's listen to the sounds of the Bobby Black Blues Band and their version of Mosquito Blues. All right. The mosquito blues He been flying around my head That's right I got the mosquito blues He been flying around my head <laughs> When I catch that little sucker He gon' wish he be dead that's right. Location, according to the FBI witness protection plan, <laughs> with the Mosquito Blues. I like that kind of song that gets under your skin. <laughs> mosquito Blues. Well, that's about it for the Willie Mill News Talk Show. Special thanks to our award-winning announcer and my sidekick electric Eric. 
thanks to our orchestra leader, Al Tissimo, and our piano man and part-time chainsaw operator, Frankie Five Fingers Mozzarella. And of course, our wonderful sponsor, Lefties Are Us in the Mall. We're going to Lefties is the right thing to do. Thanks again, too, for Karen Marrero for the artwork. And of course, our featured guest, Bobby Black. Black, right. From the Bobby Black <laughs> Blues Band. So for now, this is Willie Mildew and Electric Eric saying so long till next time. The Willie Mildew Show is filmed live before a studio audience at Internet Radio 98.6, the bonus spot on your dial.